Now all that's left is to take this out into a reusable view widget component. It's common, but not quite common enough to be a part of the layout. But I still want it to be reusable because it's not a part of my page logic. It is some component. For that, we have a concept of nested views. Over at the view quick start, we have quite a good listing of how it works. What's not clear is exactly how these template names are derived. So we're going to go over that right now. First up, let's isolate what is it that we want to widgetize. What it is that we want to have common. We don't want it in layout, but we want it to be reusable. Almost like a reusable class component, but for the view instead. This is the part that I'm interested in. Uh, take that out and I'm going to put that into a separate file. We'll call that just widget for now so we can know what it's about. I'm going to name it as something more useful later. Stick that in there and create a separate view object instance for that. That's back in my host controller. Call it widget object is new view model and I can give it some variables if I want to define it more interestingly for now I just want to get it off the ground I will give it a template so it knows how to render it and I'm not giving it the path to the template I'm going to give it the name of the template and I'm going to call this template name post widget so because it's just the name of the template I have to define what that name actually means. Back in our ever so favorite module configuration file, under the template map key of the view manager key, we create a post widget name. So now we know, or we're about to know, what it is actually referring to. I'm just going to copy and paste that because this is too cumbersome for me to type. It seems like copy and pasting is just as cumbersome. Okay, um, view, where are we? In the uh, tutorial, post, I really should have typed this from scratch, uh, widget.html, phtml. Okay, so now the view knows what it is that post widget actually is. It's creating a view object just specially for that tidbit of a file. And I can put that into some kind of overall application model so I can pull it at any moment of time. I can go all out and I can make it a service as I've discussed in my uh, third tutorial, I think it was. You can go all out. The bottom line is I can now take my overall view object for the controller and I can add that one as a child and I can give it a name. I can just call it widget for now. I'll give it something more meaningful later. Just want to get the concept across. And when I go over to the view for the post, I can now in place of where it was do widget so now when I do a refresh it is still there I want it more than once why not it's probably going to break the layout because uh, of the way I defined the grid for the bootstrap, but hey, it's still there, it still works. It's quite off, but hey, it works. I can reuse it as many times as I want. I can pass in some custom variables if I choose to, to make it fit properly, or give it some customized names or content, do whatever I want. 
Okay, so that concludes the overview of the view of Zen Framework 2. Next time we can get some of the view content from the database.